Howdy y'all, Farad Scooper and today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to upload or make available your mod pack on the Curse Launcher. Uh, first time doing one of these kind of videos, so bear with me. I'm kind of learning as I go. Uh, the way to do it is, uh, first of all, you need to have a Curse account. Second of all, you need to have, uh, just signing up for a Curse account is pretty easy. Uh, standard stuff emails and stuff like that email addresses all that stuff um, and then make your mod pack which if you haven't figured out is you right here this little symbol it says custom profile that'll give you the option to make your profile name uh, which version and which version of forge you want there you go I just made one I'm gonna remove it though <laughs> so once you've done all that there you go, you have your mod pack. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna have this standard picture. Uh, nothing fancy about it. Um, it's just gonna say user creative profile. It's not gonna have any uh, any storyline or anything there or any whatever. Um, it's just gonna look like this. So one, in order to get it where you have the image and all that stuff, the pictures and the things and all that stuff for it, you need to do on here. Uh, so when you come to the curse launcher or the curse page, I should say, uh, then you've made your account and you've signed into your account. You can go to downloads and you can go down here to where it says Minecraft and where it says mod packs. You can pick a mod pack and up here it says, are you an author? Upload your mod pack now. So you go and you click on that and there you go. You can start your project. Uh, they refer to it as starting a project. Uh, Essentially what this is going to be is your name, so you can give it the same name as what you picked over here on the launcher. Uh, your summary, your summary if I can use this one for example, is going to be what it says right here. This is going to be your summary. And then your description, which if you haven't figured out, is going to be what it says here in the overview. Don't mess with the project license. Categories. Your primary category is going to help when people search for it. So it would be one of these, obviously. So you pick one of these. And then you can pick four other, like, secondary ones. Uh, your image, you need. You need your image. So it needs to be a one-to-one -one ratio. So it needs to be a square. It can't be a diamond or a rectangle or any of that stuff. It needs to be one-to-one. -one. Minimum 400 by 400. Uh, so if you save, if you're using Photoshop or whatever you're using, save the file as a PNG, PNG. Save the file as a dot PNG. And wherever you save it, choose your file, load it up, and it'll be posted there. You can keep that the same, keep that the same. Uh, I don't know what that would do if you click on this project as experimental, but I just leave it blank. And then you hit start project. And basically what that does is it reserves your uh, name and your summary and all that stuff as like a, as a, as a project. Uh, meaning if it's got the same name as another one, so like if you called your project Gregarian Skies 2, uh, it would tell you, no, you can't do that because there's already one. So this is the very beginning part. Once you've done this, you can click on projects and it'll take you to this page. Uh, where you can either start project again or you can click on mod packs and you can see up here where it says my projects click on my projects and it'll give you a list of the things that you've done or started anyways uh, obviously if you just did the basic setting up your project it's not gonna have a list of any uh, what should we call it? any mods or anything like that because it's just what you put uh, it's not going to be a mod pack yet uh, where it becomes a mod pack is if you go to your project page right here where it says file so if you go back to your launcher and you click on that whichever one it is you click on the three little dots button up here and where it says export profile you export the profile uh, your profile name is gonna be again you want it to match so whatever you put here is what it's gonna say on the on the web page and on the launcher 
obviously I'd get rid of these, these just mean they're copies. But then your package version, so say it's your first one, so 1.0 or 0.1 or something like that. Uh, you want to make sure config is checked. You want to make sure mods is checked and everything else you don't have to worry about. Config and mods, you're fine. You hit OK and then it'll tell you where, ask you where you want to save it. I always just pick desktop and I save it to the desktop. Bam, there it goes. It gives you a zip file. Now this zip file is actually useful. It's useful for more than just uploading to the to the web page. In this zip file, if you open it, you'll see this modlist.html. If you open that, this is all links to the pages for all of these mods. You can use this in your overview, which is your description. So if you click on settings, this is your description. This is where you started your project. This is the same page. Uh, it's just now this is your project page. So now you can do all, all the stuff that you need to do from this uh, section. So once you get to this point where you've got your page, you can overview files, images, relation, where you're on this page, bookmark it because then you can just use the bookmark and it'll take you back to this page every time. So yeah, so that's your settings page where you upload your image. Uh, there is an image up here. If you click on that though, whatever you uploaded on that settings page or whatever won't be listed here. Uh, you need to actually upload an image using this image button up here for it to be listed here. So I can take this image that I made and upload it on this image file and then people can use it. You know, say somebody wants to do a let's play, they can use the image of your pack from here. Files will list all of the things that you've uploaded. And then overview obviously is just your description and all of these. So you can use this modless HTML. Not there. In here. So you go to the settings and down here you'll see it's got this little sucker right here. You can go to description and there you go. That's where you can write a description and copy paste your mod list. And then you got clickable links for all your mods now in your description. Now if you go to file, it looks just like the other page. Upload your file. You choose your file, the one that you got off the, uh, you know, from hitting export. Choose that file. Display name. Don't worry about it. If you leave it blank, it'll just use whatever the name of that zip file is. Uh, if you leave it on alpha, they won't list it on the launcher. Your stuff will all be there, but it won't be listed on the launcher. If you click beta, it'll be listed or release. It'll be released. It'll be listed, obviously. Uh, alpha, they won't list it. I don't know why. They just don't. Uh, and then obviously your change log, if you, whatever changes you made from the last upload. Uh, if it's your first one, you probably won't have a change log. Uh, one seven ten, obviously, unless you did it one point eight nine or whatever. But one seven ten, most likely. And then all the way down here, about this related projects thing, uh, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, this is. Um, I guess this is for someone that wants to, if you want to help yourself remember what's in your pack, I guess. But all the way down here at the bottom, submit file. It's going to look like it's grayed out and stuff, but it still works. You click that button and it'll go, hey, congratulations, you submitted a file. Sweet, you know. And then uh, nothing will happen. But you'll eventually, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how long it takes. It doesn't take long. You'll get an email or a little alert or something. Uh, it'll show up right here in this little uh, thing up here. See, it says approved. It'll say this. It'll say the status of the file of the grid, blah, 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 has been changed to approved. So every time you upload a file, they'll tell you if it's approved or not. If not, they tell you why. Uh, I had one not approved because my uh, description wasn't descriptive enough. I just had, can you survive the grid? It's dark and scary, don't fall. That's all I had. And they're like, you need more. Um, so I wrote the rest of this stuff and you know, the mod list. So 
uh, like I said, if there's an issue, they'll let you know. Um, like if this is needs to be better, or if the name's the same, or something, or you know, or maybe there might be an issue with that or something. Who knows? But if there's a problem, they'll let you know. Otherwise, it'll say approved, and there you go. You just uploaded your mod pack. That easy. So to review again, make yourself a mod pack, make yourself a, a custom profile, get all the mods you want. Uh, once you got all your mods that you want and it works, export your profile. You export your profile, you pick your name, your package version, make sure configs and mods are checked. Click OK, shoots it up there on your desktop or wherever you choose to put it. Go to your curse page. And once again, like I said, if you don't know how to get to these page, to that page that I'm on, downloads, mod packs, are you an author? And this is where you start your project. So you list your name, your summary, your description, what your categories are, upload your image, 400 by 400 pic pixels, uh, PNG, start project. And then you can go to projects. You can click on mod packs. You can go to my projects, and there's where your project's gonna be listed. You click on that, and then you can upload your file. You choose your file. You pick either alpha, beta, or release. Remember, alpha won't be listed if you do. Uh, your change logs, if any. You click your version, and you go all the way down to the bottom, and you submit it. And if everything's kosher, they'll say they'll send you the little thing saying you're approved. And it doesn't take very long. Like look at this one. Two days ago, two days ago, two days ago, two days ago. I had to uploaded like four uh, four things like back to back. Um, and then again, so if you want you know to add more images, you can add more images. Uh, or you can download your pack. You can go to settings and change details if you want, your name, your picture, you know, that kind of thing. You can go to description and you can mess with your description using the HTML file from your uh, zip file up here. You can change your description. Always remember to click the save changes and don't forget to bookmark it because it'll just make it easier to get here. So I got a bookmark right here. Bam. There you go brings you right here so that's how you do it nice and simple easy peasy cheesy squeezy and all that fun stuff <laughs> so let me know what you think uh, if you have any issues um, feel free to ask around leave me a comment or ask me another question uh, Mariska when you watch this I hope I was talking slow enough for you you said it was my first time I'm a tutorial virgin <laughs> but there you go Thanks for watching, y'all. Uh, press all three little buttons, and I'll see you later. Later, y'all.